What is up everyone, welcome back to another video today, and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the NG Models January 2022 releases. It's the first new release set of 2022, and it is coming from NG Models. Our first release set this year is going to be a bit of a smaller one due to the upcoming Chinese New Year. We are only going to have four new releases from NG Models this month. We have one 737, two 757s, and one Comac ARJ21. Actually, I haven't even made any predictions yet for these releases, so these are just going to be off the top of my head here, so they're going to be a bit more random than what they normally are for me. Before I get into my predictions, there is some additional news that have been announced from NG. Delayed models, models that were previously announced a few months ago, are going to be sent out with this January batch, and this, this does include the following models. We have item number 61036, which is the ITA Airways Airbus A330-200, 61037, Alitalia A330-200. 61039, the Kuwait Airways A330-200. And 61040, which is the other Kuwait Airways A330-200. We also have 21013, which is a Comac Business Jet ARJ-21. For 1200, it will be the same plane, um, just with a different item number, which in this case is 20103. So those are the delayed models that are going to be sent out with this January batch. Additionally, a February 22 release announcement will be planned for either at the towards the end of this month or early into February. So that is according to the information that I have here obtained from the diecast aircraft form. So let's take a look here at the hints. Provide my predictions for the Soul 737 release, which is November 75. Could be Continental Retro. Um, that is another model that I'm definitely on the on the um, on the lookout for. Uh, Gemini did uh, back when it was on, I think, 75436. It has since been repainted onto sister ship 75435, and it has picked up the split scimitar winglets in recent years, so I may end up picking that up if that's the case. Other options do include another Southwest aircraft, possibly a Hartwood blended winglets. I already have the Panda release that was made by Waffle Collectibles in around August or so, so I probably won't get that. Two 757 releases this month. We have November 41 and November 17. Uh, the 401 is a little bit hard for me to say. They just did the United 752 Evil Blue, so I doubt that that's going to be the case. It could very well likely be a UPS re-release, perhaps with the updated Worldwide Services titles. And then for November 17, could be American 757. It could be the One World with the polished um, fuselage, or it could be in the new livery, or it could be a regular new livery American 757. Obviously, those have been retired, so it's kind of hard to say, but my guess is it's going to be the One World with the Polished. And then Bravo 6 with the Comac ARJ-21, just kind of up in the air. I don't even know at this point, so I don't really have an official prediction for that one. So kind of a short um, prediction list, obviously with the lack of hints that we do have this month. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the four releases that we have for this release set right now. Here we go, guys. We have the NG January 2022 releases out. And again, just as a fair reminder, there's only four releases, so this video is going to be quite short. Without further ado, we're going to jump into the first release, which is 79010. And it is the Continental Retro, like I predicted. So, yeah, that may be a model I may have to end up pre-ordering here, unless something else released in the set does interest me a lot. 53179, we have a United 757-200, registration November 41135. This is with the Continental Globe livery and has the Scimitar winglets. So I didn't really think they were going to do one, but I did forget the possibility that I think United has some 752s with the Continental Globe livery and the Scimitar winglets. 53178 is One World Polished. Oh boy, 174 Alpha Alpha is the example that was done here. Yeah, so I think a few people's uh, wallets are going to be screaming about this when collectors start buying this, so that'll be fun. And then to round off our short release set, we have 21017, which is a Chengdu Airlines Comic Air J21. Registration Bravo-605 November. And of course, that's all we got for this month.
As I said, uh, previous models from another release set, I think it was from the big October set, which had like 23 models in it, or something closer to like 25, because they threw in a couple extra that were not provided in the hints, are going to be sent out with this batch. So if you have any of those models pre-ordered, more than likely you'll get it sometime in the February time frame. Um, just depends on when NG starts shipping these out. It could be even late February into March if it takes like, you know, a month or so to get these models produced. But since it's only four models, I wouldn't expect this to take as long as opposed to a normal release set, which contains like 10 to 15 models or sometimes the 20 plus, like we saw with the October 2021 set. So yeah, three out of the four releases are American stuff. Two United, one American, um, Continental Globe. That's definitely something I may have to put on my list. One World Chrome Fuselage, I think that'll be a good seller for some. And then the Scimitar Winglet 752, I think that one will sell pretty well as well. And then the Chengdu, that will sell, obviously sell well within the Asian markets. So with that being said, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.